the straight striking took like at least five minutes, and he just ended up on Smashville. Sopsy's Sopsy's still upset. He, I, I know the last time I saw him play, he did lose to a, a Sonic as well. I, apparently, the dude said stuff to him. I'm not sure. Oh. Ooh. Drama, drama, drama. Slicer versus Vader. Here we go. Game one is going to be on Battlefield. Nice change of pace. And Mario is just going in. Oh, my God. He tried to dunk him yeah, at 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you know they just love dunking. Like yeah. they, don't, they don't even care if it kills you. They just, they just want to make a statement. Oh, oh my God. He could have jabbed? Yep. Okay, so Slicer, man. He's, he talked he's, to me right before he got on stream, and he was like, hey, man, I'm nervous. What do I do to, like, combat the nerves? And I was like, just play the game you want to play, man. Do whatever you want. Don't overextend. Don't try to do cool stuff because you're on stream. Just play how you always play. So I guess he always just plays like a madman. He's got all the right reads right now. He's doing really well. Yeah, when, when Mario has all the right reads, it's like you can't really play. <laughs> Like well, you get juggled, true. and then you don't want to land on top of him, so you try to run away, yep. and then he chases you, and then it starts over again. But Vader keeping this very close. 70% is uh, nothing to laugh at against Game & Watch. He's always got that down throw toot toot yeah. on deck, uh, as well as you know the infamous 9 and his up smash. Ooh, great which reset is good. there. Yeah, there I go. actually like the choice of the down throw weak forward air. It gave him a, just a little hit stun to where he could just dip down low and then um, get a fall from there. Ooh. Slicer looking for a roll there. Vader not going to give it to him, keeping his first stock intact. Definitely. Kind of a turnaround. Yeah, definitely. That was I was looking uh, very in Slicer's favor momentum-wise in the beginning, but Vader kept his cool and was able to seal out the first stock and yeah. hits him with a chair. Yeah, and this is where uh, a lot of people get tested, you know, when they drop that first stock. Ooh. Same pass the ledger got caught the other center. Yeah. There we go. A lot of people get, lose that first stock, and then they start realize they have to make a comeback, start making a lot of mistakes. So this is just going to be a battle of the giant invincible heads, man. Good stuff from Vader getting out of those uh, up tilt combos. That can be one of the most devastating parts of Mario is those very early percent combos. Yeah. Oh. And it's good to know when you're actually stuck in his time to just get, take all the up tilts. Yep. Okay, Vader's got stage control. Okay. Nice. Doesn't get the jab into the grab there. Ooh, no sweet spot of smash, but still gets the hit he needs. Ooh. I really like his dashes in the neutral play right now. Making it kind of the biggest when he's going to go for a grab. Yeah, Slicer just cannot seem to get back to center stage. Vader holding it very well. Finally going to get a little bit of the stage to himself right now. Needs to keep this, um, this positioning. Oh, he gives it up with that overextension there on the back air. And just like that, loses it one more time. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and like, I love it. I yeah, love it. I love it. I love it. A lot of people just trap. don't know that down tilt, how quick it is and how strong it is. Yep. Uh, you saw it there. You got hit by Hit the up smash on shield. Uh, even with shield stun, it's pretty much safe. Drop shield, try to punish it. Got hit with the down tilt immediately. Yeah. Okay, man. So, yeah, Vader's going to clean that up pretty nicely after a little bit of a rocky start. Um, the Mario just started off so strong. Started, yeah. off, uh, started off swinging, man. Just came out the gates. And then Vader slowly kind of figured out, like, all right, if you're just going to keep swinging at me like this, I have ways to deal with that. So we're going to go to the other battlefield. <laughs> Not too much. Uh, oh, he did. He again. actually got it that time. That was very. That could have been the stock. Uh, if he got that cape on the OB since oh. he extended past the ledge, yeah. that was it. Yeah, he wasn't able to grab ledge because he was still under the 50 frame. Right. Limit, so right. Yeah. He could've yeah once it. you get hit, you uh, you have like 40 frames before you can grab the ledge again. And now we finally see the method behind the madness. That's what he was going for in the beginning as well. Uh, the first game. That would be an amazing first stock to see. Uh, yeah, incredible. Just get the spike and then just cape them for the good measure. Oh. Okay. You see how smash. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Vader unable to find a way down right now that's uh, safe. Goes to the ledge. Nice no jump. There, spacing. I like the... Oh, wow, great coverage. That was, yeah, that was really good. Tries to go for the two-frame. He doesn't get it. A lot of people are pressured to roll in that uh, scenario for some reason. And <laughs> um, and Vader is going to fall victim to it. Slice is going to clean up that first stock. Looking yep. like a very different game from uh, game one. Yeah, Mario with the first stock lead uh, with a little bit of rage. It would get a lot of follows, but that up B. Can wow. you imagine if Mario would have up beat Adam and taken the game? Yeah, off yeah. If he uh, did it, um, up B and seven up there, there when he yep. got risen up to the top. Yeah, That'd definitely so could silly. see some craziness early stocks happening from that. Ooh, goes for a down smash instead of just a shield grab there. Wow, Vader. Never forget. <laughs> yeah, Vader really wanting that comeback mechanic there, but uh, he got a six upside down nine. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, I don't know how he actually avoided that up smash. Sometimes uh, you just got to get the clutch air dodge. Yeah. <laughs> inches away from your death. Hey, Slicer on his way to making this a game three situation. Vader has to make quite a comeback here. 67% is pretty close to where um, 
uh, Game Watch is actually going to start dying. Yeah, very light character. Yeah, especially with this much rage on Mario. If he doesn't see all this stock quick, it's going to it's gonna be dangerous. The chair, still not doing it. Wow, oh, he's, he's going, going way out there. That actually the might not be the best idea. Ooh, that was a good trap. He's really good at those ledge traps. Both of them, really. Yeah, it's true. Ooh, gets him with the fire, though. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dip down with the last of the back air. The very last snap of the turtle gets him. <laughs> Franklin gets the very last bite. <laughs> No jump again. Oh, oh my god. Very brave man. He really wants this game over. I lied. He had a jump. Oh, again, going for these down smashes instead of just getting the shield grab, getting the safe damage. I know that Slicer wants this game over, but that, that kind of urgency to end the game might actually be his downfall here. Yeah, we see it all the time. And you're dealing with the down throw nine man himself. Yeah, that's true. Okay, back throw is going to net you a lot of stage control, give you time to set up the flood. See what he's going to go here for on the ledge. Vader's able to get back to center stage. Probably looking for a down throw right now to start up uh, one of Game Watch's mini combos. Yeah, he definitely needs the combo damage right now. Or maybe a 9. You know, we, you never know what Vader's going to go for. I so. mean, a grab would be very good for him right now. Okay, he goes for jab instead of grab. That could have been a pretty crucial moment there. Slicer is still rushing in. He has no reason to, to overextend like this. Nope. Such a huge lead that... Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah, the exact opposite of what you want to see. When you get a 9 and that up smash is going to seal it, we're going to game 3. I mean, he just wanted to make the comeback happen. Yep. Got the throw, just didn't uh, get the luck. I'm going to ask him to turn it down just a little. Yeah, just like, not the actual audio, like, just the, like, hearing it through the headphones. It's like, one, one second, I'm going to get some water. Okay. Okay, Strides is going to go get hydrated, and I'm going to solo commentate the beginning of this Game 3, which is going to be on Final Destination. This is a, uh, for those of you just joining us, Wednesday Night Fights. We do this every single Wednesday night, and we fight here on GG Gaming. There's also Street Fighter, Pokémon, a bunch of other games going on, so check those out if you want. Uh, yep, 1-1, one, one, Slicer versus Vader. Um, Vader opting for FD, which is an interesting pick. I can understand it because there are no platforms to escape to, so... His up smash is a lot more prevalent here because if he can just get up underneath Mario, Mario doesn't really have that many options to kind of trick up his landing uh, once he uses his double jump. So I can see that working out, but on the same token, Mario gets the exact same benefits. Um, I guess Game Watch does have a little bit uh, more leeway when it comes to landing, though. So we're going to see how it works out. Doesn't opt to go for the up B there, just tries to get in a third up air, and it's not going to connect. And now there's just a little bit of ledge play. Gets a dash attack and take the stage control back and charges that F smash. That was a great idea. Recognizing that Slicer's been using a lot of aerials this set and um, just waits out the, the down air aerial. And that's going to do it. Um, but Slicer answering right back. And we have a very even game. Only a 1% lead. That does not mean that much at all. Okay. Yeah, this is the Mario combo to bring it back. He's going to up B out of this combo. Um, but, you know, 31% off of one grab, that's pretty huge. And also, you got to remember, without, uh, let's see, Mario has a much easier time killing than Game & Watch does. Game & Watch is going to have to rely on those up smashes or some weird, strange, like, attack close to the ledge. But Mario, once he gets in rage, he can just up smash Game & Watch around 60-70%, and that's going to be the stock. Game & Watch is super light in this game, so. Oh, exhaust his jump. That was a great idea from Vader, but he pulls the trigger just a little bit late. Okay, this is so close. Goes for the grab, Vader rolls away. Oh, again! The same exact way of taking the stock, recognizing that after Slicer uses a down air, he often goes for a second down air like that. And, um, yep, that short hop down air is going to be his demise. Good read from Vader. He's going to take it 2-1 over Slicer and move on in the winner's bracket.